All right, everybody, everybody out there, this is Seto, and today for you guys, we are going to be doing another Market Watch video. So uh, let us get started. We're going to be talking about the Mega Tins. Um, we know now what's officially uh, not going to be reprinted. For the most part, we're going to go over most of those cards. The ones that matter necessarily, uh, we're going to go over other reprints. Um, talking about how they may be affected, some of the expensive cards that are getting reprinted, that is. Uh, we're also going to be talking about Code of the Duelist and everything else. Uh, that's the main thing that's been going on this week uh, in the market, if you're paying attention to it. So Spiral Super Agent is going to be the first thing I'm going to talk about here. Now, an hour ago, uh, Spiral Super Agent was about eight to seven dollars which is usually what he's been around uh, when he's I guess you could say been hyped up a little bit lately with new support but people were speculating it would get reprinted it's not getting reprinted in the megatons and I don't know when it's going to get reprinted however it has spiked up dramatically somebody has brought them out on TCG player there's only three total listings right now of 17 19 and 20 and as you can see it is 2.45, uh, August 19th, 2007 uh, on my thing. But I quickly wanted to look on eBay because I was about to do this and I was about to refresh it so I can show you guys how much of a price spike is going on. Because I did these about an hour ago. I let them set on purpose. So let's see here. Uh, Spiral Super Agent. Buy now. Is there any listings? $10. So there's some still on eBay, it looks like, that are going for cheap. You see $10, $10. So just know that this has been brought on TCG Player, but there are still ones for going for $7 to $10 still on eBay. So we're going to refresh that. Let's go to here. This I already added recently, but we have Pa Desires, though it's getting the reprint. It looks like the secret will we maintain some value. I would say it's probably going to be 10 to $15, maybe $8, $7, but it will uh, maintain a little bit more value because it's the secret rare. It's the more expensive rare. Dark Circle has been going down in price a lot. Um, dude, I don't know why they have a damaged one here. That's just weird. Somebody got, oof, damaged. Ooh, I wonder what happened to your deck for those cards to be damaged. Um but as you can see here, it's 25 It was about $30 last week. Then it got announced, and it's been going down. Uh, I speculate that this card's going to go down to $15 to $10. $10 to $15, somewhere around there. And it will go up after that over time until there's another reprint of the card. Um, when that will happen, who knows? Uh, I think if there was another reprint, like a common or a super that happened... A year from now then the price would go back down but it, it you know this card was not seen meta play and it was expensive uh, imagine this card being around and there's no reprint for two to three years which is very possible um, I don't know I mean I would say pick them up if you can cheap and play them uh, I mean I don't know if it's gonna get another higher rarity than secret I can't see that happening uh, same thing goes with navigation. They've been going down through the week. They were, th what, this was 30. This was, I think, around 25, 26. Um, Cosmic Cyclones get a reprint and a comic reprint. It's been going down steadily. Um, True Kings are getting reprinted. Hidden City is not. I would think that may spike, depend upon the new card that was supposed to get, be getting for Subterrors. Coral Dragon has been brought out. I was going to show you this later, but where is it? Where was it a couple hours ago? Like an hour ago, I had it here. There it is. So an hour ago, this is, I haven't refreshed this page, so that's why it's like this. They were going for 7 to $8. Now, 18 So let's look up Coral Dragon together. See, this is what I'm showing you. There's a buyout going on TCG Player. So that's why we're looking to eBay for this, but I wanted to just... Look at everything. So Coral Dragon. Buy now. A hundred dollars. <laughs> no. Uh, eight dollars. Eight dollars. Ten dollars. 
it's a buyout. That's what's going on. Uh, Grass is greener. It's not getting reprinted. It's been being brought out. Um, there are some for, I guess, some things in my cart. So that's why uh, about five bucks. Um, I would say that's where it's going to stay at. This card could this card come back to one of, you know, more than one of? No, no. People want it back to. I'm like, no. No, <laughs> I remember when this card first got announced, we were all like, this card will get hit to one. And then it got hit to one, and now people want it back. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> Next. Uh, Dang Long is not being reprinted, which this card will go up in price for sure. sure. A super agent will go up in price because of the new support it's getting in Circuit Break, as well as Dang Long is going to go up because once Zodiac get hit, um, Dragon, you know, uh, dinosaurs are going to go up in price and true king uh, dinosaurs depend upon if true kings get hit too much um, but definitely dang long will be a part of that so this is what it was an hour ago i'm going to refresh the page here and they've gone up as you can see right before your eyes they've gone up two dollars so that's how you can see what it was an hour ago and now you can see what it is now that's why i did this to show you because i knew this was going to happen so Windwitch Ice Bell, this is from an hour ago. Um, they were 10 to $14. Let's look at this now. Same price, but there's less on the market. So people are buying them. Uh, which, uh, uh, knowing the Windwitch stuff is going to be printed. So you see here, Glass Bell, about the same, which makes sense. Um, the other one is only like a dollar, so it's not really worrying about it. Twin Burst apparently is getting reprinted, but it's still expensive as heck. Sage, six dollars. Crystalling, seven dollars. Winter Cherries, seven to eight dollars. This is getting reprinted again, so this is gonna this is shot down. Any more? Drowning Meteor Force reprinted. Cosmo Dark Lady is not getting reprinted though, however, and I don't know about. Um, I don't think any of the Cosmo stuff is getting reprinted. Oh, there's Windwitch Ice Bell. Let's see here. This was from an hour ago. Has it gone up to a dollar? No. Uh, so Subterra stuff. This is from an hour ago, and then we refresh it. This is um, the stuff is pretty cheap. Uh, depends upon you know how the new card is. Uh, the deck is fairly cheap overall. Uh, I showed you Hidden City already, which was the other card, but they haven't moved. Uh, Coral Dragons, I showed you earlier. This is what the prices were a couple hours ago. I'll refresh it for you. There's only one online now, 18 bucks. But on TCG Player, as I showed on eBay, still 8 bucks. <clears throat> so this I already showed you. This is Cosmic Cyclone. Hidden Cities, I'll still go on that because I don't think that got reprinted. So that's the Mega Tent stuff. I just wanted to go over that in a nutshell. There are some other stuff that is not in the Mega Tens, but it's going to get reprinted. If you're asking me what I think is really expensive out of the Megatons, like what's worth getting, I would say the Navigate, the Blue Eyes and Dark Magician stuff, the Zodiac stuff is going to get hit. We all know it. We, we hope that it's – some people hope that it's not. It's going to get hit. We all know it. Uh, True Draco, that's wishy-washy there, literally. And um, so I'd say that the nostalgic stuff that's getting reprinted, that's going to be good. The pre-preps, that will be good. Um, just use your, your brain, and you should be good on what's going to come out, like Pre-Peps, um, Sharon Nui Solitaire. Uh, you know, let me show you right here quickly. Like Sharon Nui Solitaire right now is 7 8 bucks. When the print comes out, it'll be 4 or 5 bucks. Pick them up. I've, I mean, when this card came out, I picked up a couple. I sold a play set after it went up in price because it's a good card. It's a lone fire for zombies, which have always had support, and it's generic for the most part. Even though it's a Sharonuri, that gives it more things because it can work with the Sharonuri archetype. So, great card. Pick up good stuff that is cheap, and over time, because it doesn't get a reprint for a long time, it will go up in price. That's what I feel like. Um, so let's look at Battles of Legend here quickly as we round this Market Watch video off. It's a very quick Market Watch because there's not really a lot going on right now. So we have Minerva, the Exhorted Light Swarm, $8. Ciphering Omega is still on the rise a little bit, as you see here. Galaxy Soldiers, I think those will go up eventually, but who knows. But yeah, for the most part, everything's cheap.
So now let's look at maximum crisis and then we'll look at code of the duelist here. So maximum crisis ash blossoms have been on the rise this past week. Uh, you should have picked them up at 45. I didn't want to pick them up because, well, I'm going to be going to Korea so I can probably play the supers that they have over there when I go to Korea next year before this gets reprinted. So, and who knows, by then it may get hit, so it may be even cheaper over in Korea. But um, yeah, I'm keeping that in mind. But I'm probably going to order a playset when it gets it does get reprinted next year. And I'll pick the playset so when I come back to the States, I can play it. That's my plan. So True King Diagram, it's going up a little bit. It was like at 35, then it's going up again, and it stayed around 40. Um, because people speculate this will get hit. Dragon Slayer, 11, 10 bucks. You could probably get him for it. Tornado Dragon, Duelist Alliance, Zarks, everything else is cheap. Now, Code of the Duelist has actually been a really interesting set to watch. Firewall Dragons have stayed at 31. They have literally stayed at 31. That's interesting. Um, but they haven't gone down. I think when the reprints happen, well, the special editions happen, what, in September or October? I think it's October they're going to get the special edition. I would say this will be around 25, and it's going to stay at 25 till there's another reprint, and then it'll just go down from there. But like I said, the secret rare will be the most expensive rarity. And I would, I'm going to take a wild guess here. Um, this will be the Mega 10 promo for 2000 and the Mega Tens of 2018. Firewall Dragon will probably be the Mega Ten promo. I just got that feeling because they did it with odd eyes. And it won't be a nice rarity. It'll be like a super or an alt T. And a secret rare will maintain some value. And I will, that's what I hypothesize. But that's just a, a hypothesis from past experience. So Trickstar Reincarnations have actually been going up a lot. So when I initially brought my Trickstar Reincarnations, the the week and the set dropped. They were twenty dollars. You could get them for nineteen to twenty-two dollars, somewhere in there. They have gone up to thirty to thirty-two dollars to thirty-three dollars. I was quite surprised about this, but they have literally gone up in price uh, by ten to tw about ten ten to twelve dollars actually over the last week and a half. The deck's good. This card's good. It's generic. You also have to keep in mind it can be used in regular decks. It, niche decks, mind you, but it's best in trick stars. But um, yeah, it's awesome. Also, uh, remember the couple of episodes that when uh, Blue Angel was in a coma um, and she was laying in that like pedestal? Doesn't that kind of look like it? Foreshadowing, I guess, originally from you know, a couple episodes back. If you're not caught up yet. Twilight Swarm Shaman has gone down literally like 50 cents in the last two weeks. It's staying around 15, which is amazing, but it's a very beautiful artwork as a secret. This has stayed at $12 for the most part since initial release. This is Topological Bomber Dragon, so don't let this destroy you. It's, the rare is not this much, <laughs> but Topological Battle of the Dragons have gone down like a couple cents. Spellbook acknowledges have stayed around 11 bucks. Uh, Lee, the World Chalice Failures have gone up about, I think they originally came out as like, what, four or five dollars, and now they're ten dollars. So, yeah. Uh, World Chalice Gold Dragon, this was like, what, it was very cheap, like three, four bucks, then it shot up to 15, and now it stayed around nine to ten dollars for the last week. That's something to keep in mind. Rescue ferrets have tanked big time. Uh, let's look at the next page quickly. Uh, cyber stuff, five bucks. Stage, that was like three bucks, now it's five dollars, I think. Candinas are still the same. Punishment Dragon has gone up. This was like a couple bucks, like a, what was it, like a dollar or two? Now it's like a like dollar fifty, I brought one. Now it's up to three bucks. Interesting. Super rare heavy dust storms, two bucks. And the common back to the front, a dollar fifty. Do keep that in mind. So if you open packs at locals, if you see packs on the table that people are forgetting, back to the front is a card worth keeping, as well as heavy duster. 
So that's about all for this week, guys. I want to go over. Um, there's buyouts happening on TCG Player. Do keep that in mind. It's now 3 o'clock on the dot almost. So, yeah, do keep these things in mind. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this Market Watch video. It's going to go up as soon as I'm done here. It's 3 p.m. Standard Eastern Time, if you're wondering when you're watching this video. But till next time, take care. Have fun dueling. Good luck dueling. And I'll see you guys next time. Good luck dueling to all of you. Hope this Market Watch was helpful.